Good morning everybody, Ali here from Next Chapter Homestead and today I'm actually going to be working on our container garden. So yesterday Duncan and I went on a bit of an adventure and we got ourselves some compost. So we're going to be using that to amend the soil in our pots. The plan for today is to empty out all of our pots and amend the soil, put it back and then plant them. In front of us here we have a top that I've laid down on the grass um, this is essentially the area in which we'll be mixing all our soil so the aim is to take these containers over here empty them out onto the actual tarpaulin, tarpaulin over here and amend the soil here we've got some containers that we emptied out together the other day when we cleaned out the area around the corner to sit in for dinner the chickens have been having a field day they like to climb in there and dig and kick out the soil as you can see there's a lot of it on the floor here that's all right it's not the end of the world we are amending this anyway so all of these i'm going to empty out onto the top over there and then we're going to do our soil mix hey guys so it's early in the morning and i've decided to start early because the days here are getting ridiculously hot in the summer so it's easier just to do the work a little bit earlier and then at least it's done but then in the afternoon we can come back and finish off any other tasks but we miss the heat of the day so let's see what we can get done before we get burnt just a quick update on the pups all three are still looking good we've tried to figure out what gender they are but I guess we'll only know if and when they start laying eggs but they're all healthy and happy So I've offloaded the wheelbarrow and I just have to start taking compost. So my plan is to take two wheelbarrow loads of compost and mix it in with all that potting soil. Let's get going. Hey guys, so I've um, offloaded one wheelbarrow of the compost and I have emptied out my containers onto the top and I'm just going to mix them through thoroughly. Now that I've got my soil mixed, I'm going to start with doing the last few transplants that I have and filling the containers that we've got that are empty. So I'm going to start with these three containers first. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this plant that's in this container. It was, well it is a petunia, a white one, but unfortunately it's too low down in this pot and it's just not living its best. So what I'm going to try and do is top up this container with soil and transplant this one out of this container into this container and see if it does a little bit better and then I'm going to replant this pepper which was our mystery pepper we got on our trolley we paid for it and brought it home and we still to this day have no idea how it ended up on our trolley so we're going to plant it because it's obviously destined to be with us and it is a kazango I'm probably saying that very wrong but it is a yellow pepper and I'm going to plant it in here I think it'll look quite nice it'll get the right amount of sun and it's torn enough to hold its own in such a big pot. Then in the front here, you can't see it, but I have a Tabasco pepper. And that I'm going to plant out into one of my containers as well.
Okay, so it looks like the petunia that was in this container was just too far gone and beyond saving the entire plant was dry. So I'm just going to backfill it with the compost mix that we've got and then I'm going to plant my pepper in. Okay, as you can see this pepper is quite root bound, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly tease these roots apart so that as it starts growing it knows that it can send its roots out and I don't continually, continually work around the plant creating a root ball. Hey guys, so I'm actually trying to work a little bit faster than normal because it looks like there's a storm on the way and I'm hoping that we can get this done. So because I'm no longer planting the petunia out into this container, um, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity for me to up-pot my bay leaf tree. So my bay tree? I'm not sure. But I'm going to plant this out into this container now. And then it'll have enough time to develop because apparently they are quite gro slow growers but that's all right they can just grow slowly then in this container and when we need to we can up pot it This is the next thing that I'm going to tackle, so I've kind of put a little system together for myself. So the plan is to plant uh, the Hans tomato into this container, uh, two chilies, two chilies, and in this last container, a lettuce. Uh, no particular order, however they come up. Um, and then to refill the seed trays and get those going. So we have perpetual seedlings to plug spaces that open as summer comes along. Um, I do have another container over here that I'm also going to fill. And we're going to see what we can plant in those. And that'll be my target for this afternoon at least. And we'll see how far we get, I guess. Okay guys, so this is what I have left on the lawn at least. Um, I have two peppers that are waiting to go into this container. And in this container I'm probably going to plant lettuce. We'll have to have a see what seeds we've got for that particular one. But let me show you what I've done with the others so far. As far as containers that we planted out today, this Tabasco pepper got planted. And if we move over here, we have our bay leaf and our tomato. In these two containers, we're going to be planting two varieties of lettuce. 
Hey guys, Ali here, and as you can see, there is a storm of brewing. Um, so I've actually had to wrap things up. What I've done is I've filled all the containers with the soil as much as um, I had on hand and the containers that I had set aside. So that was a win, I had enough for that. And now I'm just gonna plant out as many seeds as quickly as possible so that hopefully we can get them in the soil before it starts to rain. Just wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to spend it with me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye guys.